Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a first impressions review of the KKW Beauty Contour So this released last sticks. Wednesday, the same day as the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I really wasn't that interested in getting it. I don't know if it's just because I wasn't impressed when I first saw it. I'm not sure, because usually like when some when a celebrity that I like comes out with something, I'm like, I need it. But this, I was kind of on the fence about, and I actually wasn't even like, oh my gosh, I have to get on the internet as soon as it launches, because if and not, I'll, it'll sell out. My boyfriend actually was the one that was like, you know, just get it, review it, see if you like it, you may love it, and he was like, just get it. So I ended up purchasing it, and actually, five, ten minutes later, so I was kind it was of already sold out. Like, oh, okay, if it's sold out, I'm happy I got my my shade. So I was really excited to receive it after I, I initially ordered it. So I've been seeing a lot of reviews. Um, people are saying that there's not that much product, so it's not worth the money. It did retail for $48, and I believe with shipping and everything, it was almost $60 but you're paying for the Kim Kardashian name, you're paying for the packaging, you're paying for the product itself. So to me, I mean, I don't, I've never, I haven't used this yet. It's still in its packaging. I haven't even opened up the packaging yet. If you're paying for all of to that, me, I mean, $48, it seems like a lot, but you're mostly paying for the Kim Kardashian name, just being honest. But I will get into it and we will do a first impression, so I will actually put it on today. I have no highlighter or contour on right now. My face looks so bare, I feel like I'm like, I was in the bathroom doing my makeup and I was like, my face looks so weird, like what's going on? And I was like, oh, duh, I have no highlight and no contour on. And that's why I usually put on like loads of contour and highlight. So I'm like, that's why. So here's the product. product. This is what it looks like when you get it. Really pretty, um, like a nude packaging. This is KKW. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera, but I, I mean, some people are like, this feels like really cheap, which I mean, mm, does it feel cheap? I don't think it feels cheap. Um, I think it's actually kind of cute. It's different. You don't ever see things come in a bag like this. Usually it's like a box, but I don't mind it. You can like take it and open it. And it's resealable, so you can keep it. <laughs> you want in this little um, other bag where it's like, like it's like vacuum sealed in here, which is kind of nice. I mean, that way your your products don't, How many times you know, have you got a package around the where your stuff is just rolling around and sometimes it's opened or damaged or something? It's really cool that she did that. So uh, uh, first we have the contour sticks and highlighter So this stick. is the light contour. So that's what it looks like. And then I think it's the same color. Yeah, so it's the same color on each side. Yeah, same color. It's the, I believe it's the highlights that are a little different just because one's matte and one How much product shimmery. is in here? Okay, so that's how much product you get on each side. For me, you're getting that much on each side. I feel like that is a decent I mean, amount of product. Like I said, you're paying for the name. You know that. So going into buying it, when you receive this, I mean, I feel like... You can have complaints, but I feel like I'm not going to complain about how much product is in here. It doesn't bother me. I like it. I like Kim Kardashian. I think the packaging is so pretty. What I would pretty. like to see, though, is her logo a little brighter on there. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it's so... It, it almost matches the background color, so you can barely see it. That's what I, I would like to see that a little brighter. Um, but like I said, that's my, that's my only complaint. Then uh, let's go into the... Highlighter stick. So, so this is the matte shade for light. I guess I should have mentioned that, you guys. I did get the light color because I am light. See, you get the same amount of product. Yeah, same amount of product in the highlighters. And then this is the shimmery color, which is a little yellow. I will say that. A little yellow, but we'll see how it looks on my Overall, skin. Overall, these are really nice. I mean, the twisting them up and down they are really smooth. smooth. I really, really like the packaging. I think they're really cute. They're definitely, um, you can travel with these easily. If you, you know, this is a contour and highlight stick that you can literally put in your purse and go. I think which she did I great think on the packaging. Really nice. um, we'll have to test out the, out the product, but first I will go into the brush. Before we Brush actually has go its into own the little product. compartment here, like a clear plastic, which is nice. I, I love how she really made sure that everything was kind of in its own little packaging. That way, nothing gets broken or nothing gets misplaced or messed a up. Sponge or on like one that. end, 
and then a little brush. Brush is really powder. dense and really soft. So without further ado, we will try it. So I will try it and on both of my cheek of the highlighter. So let me take the contour, and I actually am gonna get a mirror because okay, so I just I have it twisted see. up about that much, and then I'm just gonna go in. Right off the bat, it definitely goes on really smooth. You definitely have to layer it if you want a darker look. So right there, you can see that I have the contour. It feels like very smooth, you guys. You know, like it feels like an expensive product. And then I will go on to the next. Okay, and then you can see it there, and there. This one's a little higher. Oops. That's okay, we'll fix it. Make that one a little thicker. Okay, so now I'm going to blend use it. Use the sponge for the highlight. I'm not going to use it for the contour. I'm going to use the brush for the contour. Okay, so let's brush this out. All right, it seems to be blending out really well. Really, really nice. Yeah. Blend it out more if you Just want. Make sure you blend it out as much as you can, though, so you don't have a line. It's very subtle, but, yeah. but it's there. You can see it. I'm going to blend out the other. Now I look contoured. <laughs> I was a little worried earlier. I'm like, oh my gosh, my contour is not on. I look so, not weird, but I'm just not used to it because I literally use so contour So for the time. contour, I like it. I mean, you can definitely see it. It's very subtle, but it's easy to blend with this brush. Use that this obviously brush with awesome. the beauty blender or the sponge. But I prefer, I think I prefer the brush, honestly. I think I do. It blended out really well. So, yeah, I'm It impressed. just glides right on it, and it's super smooth. Now we will go on so. to the highlight. So I am going to use the matte first. And I actually use, like, my... I actually just got the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, so I used that this morning for my concealer. But I'm just going to put the light matte on top of that just to kind of... Just so I can test it out. So just highlight where you normally would, which you can do, like, the, um, the triangle underneath your eye your eyes not just one do both <laughs> you can bring it down if you want I'll bring it down a little bit more okay. and then you can bridge your nose and then the three lines at the top uh, your cupid's bow and then a little circle in your chin. I'll go with the sponge. Blender out. Okay, already, you guys, I'm having a little difficulty blending out the matte highlight with the sponge. Um, it's not the easiest thing to blend out. I don't know if it's the product itself. Or the sponge but it's not blending as easy as I, I got thought. it I blended it out but it's not it was not easy this sp but the sponge definitely is not the greatest and like I said it could be the product itself but I feel like it might be the sponge maybe if you get it wet that might be a good alternative but So yeah, but it, it, I mean, it looks pretty. It definitely looks pretty, but it is a little hard to blend with the sponge. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to go in with the contour brush and just kind of, and I know that's like a no-no because you don't want to like across the colors, but okay. Now I'm going to go on the nose, blend that out a little bit. Sponge, definitely. I think you need to get it wet. It's like not the easiest thing to blend. It's like it's like taking my makeup off. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
Okay. I'm gonna okay, you guys, this brush or this this sponge now. This what is not working. What in the sponge? <sighs> or maybe it's just this product. I think it so might quick. be that the mat is drying too fast. I think that might be the uh, issue. So yeah, guys. the sponge and the mat don't mix well together. Something's gotta give. Maybe even wet the sponge do or one section. Um, maybe do one section separate. I like do your eyes first. Then do your head, forehead, then the nose, then the chin, then the cupid's bow. Maybe do it like that. Uh, I'll find out a way that works. But yeah, that that wasn't fun. You like literally have oh, a brush. I feel like, like some of my makeup came off because I was like. Now I want to go in with the pretty, actual, shimmery highlight. So usually, you guys, with the contour, I usually just contour my cheeks and then my forehead. So I'll go and do my forehead in a minute. I just wanted to do the initial like just chisel it out the cheekbones. So. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just do the highlight right here where I normally would. So just all my cheekbones. And then I like to do the bridge of my nose. And then keep it bow, obviously. And then um, right above my brow. I don't like to highlight here or on my chin because I feel like it makes me look greasy. Mm, may just be so. Me. Then I will go in with the brush and I will just brush out the highlight. Okay, the highlight looks good. I don't know if you guys can see the highlight. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah, it looks good. The highlight's good. I wouldn't recommend using the brush though. I would definitely use a damp beauty blender or um, even a sponge on here. Nice. Okay. You guys can see the highlight and then the, the rest contour. of my contour, you guys, because like I said, I usually do my forehead and um, so I normally just do my forehead like on the outside, but today I'll do right here too. Because I do have um, a bigger And forehead. I'm going to blend this out a little bit because I still have some highlight there that is not blended out because this brush is terrible. Not the brush, the sponge. I'm going to use the sponge. Okay, so I'm going to use the sponge to blend out my forehead. Okay, so right off the bat, the sponge definitely blends in the contour better than the highlight. I will say that. It's like, it's like effortless for the contour. But I'm going to go in with my brush and just make sure that I blend that all out, though. Just so there's no... Okay, so that is it for the Kim Kardashian first impressions. So I would say that this is definitely worth it uh, if you like to collect makeup and you really want an on-the-go easy contour kit. This is so simple. And it gives you everything you need. It gives you the brush, the sponge, even though I'm not a big fan of the sponge. Uh, it gives you the contour colors, the highlight colors. You literally have everything you need for contour and highlight in this kit. It is very subtle, but at the same time, got this it's and you're very expecting kin. something like extravagant and, you know, really in your face and prominent. You're not really going to get that. Kim's very natural with her, with her makeup, as you can always tell. She usually does like a nude lip. Um, very subtle eyes, a subtle contour. She does a, I, I, I shouldn't say a subtle contour. She does a pretty intense contour, but it looks so soft on her. It's not like, oh my God, you contoured so much. It just looks effortless for her. So this kit, I would say, is definitely worth it. I'm happy I purchased it. I'm more, I'm happier than and I thought I would packaging be. Packaging is great, I think. And I just, overall, I like the product. I will definitely use it. Would I use it every day? Probably not, just because I do love my e.l.f. And I feel like I'm just used to that right now. But I will probably use this, you know, occasionally here and there. So, um, but yeah, I, I definitely like it. So I think it's, I think it's worth it. But that is it for my first impressions video. This is my first first impressions video. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.